Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves listening to the sad story of Acura Amanda and her sad, sad little boyfriend or husband or whatever the hell he is to her. And she goes into great detail about how they are so persecuted that it's all about retaliation and everything like that. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy listening to this stupid little tale of sadness, shall we? Hey guys, Acura Amanda here. It's been a while since I've come on my channel. I've been dealing with a lot and I've come to explain mostly everything. I have been silent for so long. Um, so has Palm Beach Free Press. Tonight's video is all about him. He is currently sitting in the Palm Beach County Jail. He has been sentenced to 30 days in the county jail. Oh, poor baby. Well, the both of you chose the life of First Amendment auditing, a.k.a. frauditing, and you go around annoying the hell out of everybody. Well, of course this kind of thing is going to happen. You're going to wind up uh, being uh, put into the slammer for a while. All because of this video. You're a liar! You're a liar! You're a liar! He just told me to move into the parking lot. Do you guys want to get it straight? Where do I need to move? Over this way, please. I really, really, really would have been... Turn my camera around. You're all right, man. You can film. We just need you to back up away from us for a couple minutes. You guys just set off the sidewalk onto the parking lot. Where would you guys like me to move to? I'm asking carefully. What if I don't come over there and walk with you? Are you not allowed to tell me where I have to be over here? So you guys don't like a camera pointed this way, or what's the problem over here? Well, I can tell you one thing, you're just like any other frauditor, uh, you fail to listen to anybody because the officer just said that it's alright for you to film, they just needed you to have a little bit more distance. But hey, typical frauditors think that they know everything and, uh, well, end up getting, uh, put away for a while because of their own stupidity. Oh, go figure. Dude, I was standing back there, and then he said to move over here, so I moved over here for you. Oh, we got another camera over here. I like cameras. What's your name and badge number, sir? What was it? What's your name and badge number? Please do not put your hands on me, sir. I'm not allowed to ask him his name and badge number. You are. Now you're walking on me. What is your name and badge number? I did not hear you. Monath 4135. Step back over there. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is a I don't know why I got hands put on me over here, though. You're approaching me. Get back. You no I'm not right allowed to approach, approach on a sidewalk. No right I'm not allowed to approach a sidewalk. No, you don't. You have no right to approach What statute me. is that? Is that a misdemeanor no right or a felony? Approach me. Okay. Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Listen, go take your legal eagle stuff and go somewhere So you don't else. like the law? What are you? I don't like when people approach me aggressively like you just... So are you a tyrant or are you law enforcement? Why are you asking me ridiculous, stupid questions? I don't answer questions. Why are you asking me questions? Can I talk to you for a moment? Yeah, but no problem. Play 43 or two. You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! Well, gee, now we see why he got put in the slammer for a few days. Oh boy, dude! Uh, the way you uh, walked up on that officer and didn't interfered with an investigation and everything like that. Uh, yeah, I can understand. Palm Beach Free Press was never arrested at the time this video was made. Him and I then went to Internal Affairs on January 3rd, 2023 to file a complaint against Captain Mugridge and Lieutenant Monoff. Hey guys, Palm Beach Free Press here. We are here at PBSO to follow up on a sheriff assaulting me. We have the uh, complaint printed out here, ready to go in and see what happens. Not a problem, I understand. I wait for you to shut the door and be drive to the other place and they say, no, we can't take it anyways and yeah, just trying to drop something on me. It's 10.58. Perfect. And then if I could steal your pen for the other two, I need to put a phone number or email address on there. I didn't put anything on there. Oh, yeah. 
There you go. Thank I'll you very much. Pass it down the Appreciate line. You. Have a good one. All right, y'all take care. Happy New Year. The following day after this IA complaint was turned into PBSO Internal Affairs, Deputy Sean Delhome filed PC probable cause against Palm Beach Free Press for resisting without violence. One month later, his brother was served with a notice to appear and charges were filed against Palm Beach Free Press. Over the next year that followed after that notice to appear was served, him and I have been fighting for his freedom. He went to trial two different times. The first trial, he represented himself. Let me guess, uh, he thought he knew how the law worked? Uh, yeah, okay. If that's the case and he decided to go pro se, uh, the dude is a complete and total moron to begin with. We got a hung jury. We had a mistrial. The second time around, he hired an attorney. We went to trial again. Right before Thanksgiving, one day before Thanksgiving, when those jurors, those six members of the jury, all they wanted to do was get home to their families and start their Thanksgiving break. I feel like he was not given a fair shot and this is an attack. Oh my goodness, that is a pathetic excuse right there. Oh, I didn't get a fair shot. I got my jury trial, but my the jury of my peers ruled against me. Well, let me tell you something. You did get your fair shot because you got a jury, but your sorry-ass boyfriend was found guilty because, well, he's a complete dumbass who decided to go out and become a First Amendment auditor. And guess what? The majority of the population do not enjoy those idiots. On our God-given rights to the U.S. Constitution, even the Florida Constitution, but let's look at the real facts here. They have come after me personally. They have come after my children. They have come after the man that I love. At the end of the trial, when the guilty verdict was read, my business partner was arrested. He was arrested in the courtroom for battery on a law enforcement officer. He walked out of those doors. I did not see him batter anybody, but all of those deputies that you seen in that video, they were all there when they were not subpoenaed to be there. They were there for every single hearing. You wanna know why guys? Because they had a personal vendetta against Palm Beach Free Press. Lieutenant Monoff at sentencing today he got up on the stand and said that the video enticed a bunch of phone calls to PBSO, phone calls that were not very nice, phone calls that he said were threatening. Did, did that come from me? No. Did that come from Palm Beach Free Press? No. Those were citizens redressing their government. Hey, I hate to break it to you, but... uh Making threatening phone calls is not redressing your government. In this particular case, it was real retaliation against those officers who did their jobs. And I'm not talking about uh, the way they treated your uh, boyfriend, husband, or anything like that. They were in the middle of an investigation when you're sorry, S-O-B-M-F, or of a boyfriend or husband or whatever the hell he is, to you decided to well run up on one of them and act like a complete douche canoe that whole issue is on his dumb ass for even trying that i mean come on what kind of a moron runs up to a cop like that and expects something good to come out of it because well they are out there investigating an issue and expressing their anger and frustration at the video that you and i just watched my business partner was taken to jail. We had to bond him out on Thanksgiving because they're alleging that he battered one of those deputies in there. It just did not happen. Everybody around me, they have personally attacked. Now the man that I love is sitting in the county jail right now. Why? Because we put them on YouTube. 
You don't like being on YouTube, do you guys? You're going to take an innocent man, take, rob him of his freedom. The only thing that he told me was Amanda, stay strong before they took him into custody today. Stay strong, tell the kids that I love them. He does not deserve to be sitting in the county jail. He was maliciously prosecuted. They did the same thing to me, guys. I haven't shared my story yet. What they did to me has left me with PTSD for the rest of my life. What they did to me. The state had no other, other choice but to dismiss the charges against me after I met with the FBI. All I can say, guys, is we need... We need all hands on deck here. We have one of our own that's sitting in the county jail right now because he was exercising his rights. He did not mean any ill intent. We do not mean any harm against these people. If you don't mean anybody harm, then why the hell did your idiotic... A partner run up on that officer what else are those officers supposed to think when that happens are you people even thinking about that no because if he had actually thought about the implications of running up on an officer in the middle of an investigation then he wouldn't have done it that like i said before is on his head and you need to stop with the damn persecution complex because you are not being persecuted. You were prosecuted because you committed a crime. And your uh, partner, as you like to call him, committed a crime himself in that particular situation. He was told to stay back. He ran up on another officer. So deal with the consequences and move on. And that's all I've got to say about that. Because if I continued on, I'd be here for an hour uh, ranting about this kind of BS with, well, this persecution complex that she's got. That they're being persecuted. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?